and welcome back to Landland's World. So today I'll be showing you guys how I make this delicious cheeseburger. Let's get started. All right, so first I'm starting off with some ground sterling beef and we're gonna go ahead and add in our seasoned mix. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix this in well. I like to use my hands just so I can go ahead and mix it in and then form our patties. Now with my patties, I am making big meaty patties. Now do remember once you start to grill, they will shrink a little. So just make it to the size that you desire. All right, so now that we have our patties, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring them onto the grill. Now my grill has been heating up, it's up to 400 degrees, and we're just gonna go ahead and let that grill, and now we're gonna get started on our toppings as that grill. So first toppings I'm starting with is our bacon, so I just have some bacon cooking here. Once the bacon is finished cooking, we're just gonna go ahead and remove that, but we're not going to discard this oil. We're gonna use that for later. And we're gonna go ahead and get some of our other toppings. I like tomatoes, lettuce, and also onions. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop those up. Now onto our burger sauce. So you can find the full recipe for the burger sauce and also the season mix that I use in the burger down in the description box. But I am just going ahead and creating our burger sauce. Just gonna go ahead and give a check on our patties. They're looking real nice. I just went ahead and flip them and give them a little press or two and we're gonna let the other side cook and get a nice sear to it. I'm going for a well done patty. If you don't want a well done patty, you don't have to cook it as long. Just remember to check on your patties. I did just flip this over for the second time and we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese because I want the cheese to melt nicely onto the patty so we add it while it's directly onto the grill. I'll be using pepper jack cheese. Now back to that bacon grease. What we're gonna do is we're gonna toast our buns. So I have the heat on medium and we're gonna toast these buns for about a minute Now that our buns are toasting well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just remove this from the heat and get started on making our burger. All right, to start off, I'm just taking our buns and I'm gonna start off by putting our burger sauce onto the bottom side of the bun first. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our nice cheeseburger. And then also I'm going to go ahead and add in our bacon and the remaining of our toppings. Now this is up to you what order you like your burger. So you can mix and match it the way that you like. Mm -hmm. 
And then I like to add some of more of that burger sauce on the top bun. All right, and there you guys have it, our easy, delicious, juicy cheeseburger. I hope you guys get rid of all of those frozen patties and start making your own burger creations. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!